Hey guys, what's up? DJ Kevin over here from DJ Kevin TV One. I'm gonna make a video on how to connect this controller into a powered speaker. Um, I have a spare powered speaker that's sitting over here, so I'm gonna show you how to hook this up. This is the Pioneer DDJ SB2. Um, I'll make a video on uh, on this guy uh, one of these days, but uh, this is a really really good controller. Um, how to hook this up to a powered speaker is quite easy so here is a powered speaker right here if you guys don't believe me now that's the amplifier that's in the back this is from the amplifier from the uh gli pro x jam 15 ipod i just took a a passive cabinet as you can already tell by the cutout that's where the crossover was in the input but i took that out I'm meaning to cover that with something so the base so the base does not come through the top knowing that there's some ports over here. So technically I just took the passive the passive um the passive inputs from here and then I just took that out and I actually took the amplifier from the GLI XJAM 15 iPod in here, cut a hole, screw it in, and maybe you guys can already see from the inside. There you go. That's the inside of the cabinet. That's a compression driver. That's a 12 inch driver. And then we got the amplifier module over there. Very, very easy. Easy build to be honest. All right, so how to hook up this to a powered speaker? Really damn easy. All that you need in the back of the DDJ SB2, you have a USB. That gets plugged into the computer. So you plug this baby in. Like that. And then apparent and what's cool is there's a Kensington lock, so you could actually lock it to a desk. And there is your master output right here. So technically it doesn't work from from the headphone jack on your computer. This actually has its own um its own um sound card in there. So technically you have red for the for the right and white for the left, like normal RCA. This is an RCA to an XLR um, cable. Follow the lead all the way in the back of the speaker. And there you go. Very damn easy. So if you have two of these, I only have one speaker, of course, because I only use this for just, you know, just mixing in my in my basement down here. So technically, RCA to XLR, very very easy. Go to one of the go to one each each uh, output, master out, plug that in, and uh, you're rocking and rolling. Hold on. Let me just make sure that's in there. There you go. And uh, yeah, you're rocking and rolling. So if you have two powered speakers like that, you could actually have RCA to XLR. So master out goes to one of these, one of the output on the sound card of the controller. And then you come back here and then it is plugged in into the line input. Make sure you plug it into the line, not the mic, because they bring out different signals and different decibels. So, and you can use RCA on this, but for best sound quality, I use this XLR to RCA. So make sure it's in the line in and not in the mic in. And then you put the level on full blast on max. You could keep it at half if you want to, but you want to put this on full blast and you want to keep the master volume, which is this guy, the master volume, I keep it on 12 o'clock. So I have the input level on max and have the, have the main volume on 12 o'clock. Make sure this is plugged in correctly, meaning that you will actually hear a snap. There you go. So that's in there, and that's in there from the master out, and uh, yeah, that's how you hook up 
the DJ SB2 into like a really standard powered speaker from RCA RCA to XLR. So that's it you guys, that's just a quick video on uh, the connection for the SB2. And uh, there'll be more videos on the SB2 and uh, this quick setup. All right guys, so that's it. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Practice and enjoy.